so friends first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends today in this video we are going to solve eight question that is eight important question on the topic reverse syllogism based on the concept called some not no and possibility so friends i think one month back we have posted a video reverse syllogism in this video uh, i have taught you how to eliminate the options right but on those videos all the questions are so easy right the question that is based on only a concept called sum and odd so that we can easily eliminate the options but in this video where the eight questions are so important because the question is based on the concept called sum not no and possibility so friends don't forget to watch all the eight question don't miss single question so friends before solving eight different question on the topic reverse syllogism first of all you should know the basic trick of sum not no and possibility so friends sum not no and the possibility so friends just by art only a small note listen here friends listen carefully if a venn diagram right so if in think that this is a venn diagram right if all the words in a venn diagram are inside a single set right all the words are inside a single set right similarly if there is like this the venn diagram is like this so we can definitely say that all the words in a given question is inside a single venn diagram if all the words in a question is inside a single venn diagram then the possibility conclusion is true friends got it if all the words in the given question is inside a single venn diagram then the possibility conclusion is correct if all the words inside a single venn diagram some not conclusion is wrong if all the words inside a single venn diagram no conclusion is wrong which is most important this will help you to crack a question easily without drawing a venn diagram for many statements so friends can you able to understand the simple concept right some not conclusion no conclusion and possibility conclusion right so friends always remember that if all the given words are inside a single venn diagram then we can surely say that possibility conclusion is correct if all the words are inside a single venn diagram some not conclusion is wrong if all the words inside a single venn diagram no conclusion is wrong by knowing this trick you can crack all the toughest question most of the toughest question in reverse syllogism so friends let me move on to all the eight different question don't forget to share this video to your friends so friends let me move on to set number 1 on the topic reverse syllogism so friends here is the conclusion some crows are not parrot and some crows are owl so friends always remember one thing by seeing a conclusion check whether the conclusion is easy or it's a moderate or it is so difficult according to me the conclusion is based on some not concept right second conclusion is so easy because some crows or owl is so easy but look at the conclusion number 1 so conclusion number 1 it's not so easy and also not so tough it's a medium level question so friends always remember that if it is a easy conclusion don't draw venn diagram directly by seeing the conclusion we can eliminate the statements but it's a medium level question that is the concept based on some not so try to draw the venn diagram for all the statements as soon as possible within 30 or 35 seconds so after drawing the venn diagram there is a small trick to eliminate the options so friends listen carefully friends so friends i'm just going to draw the venn diagram faster that is important right always remember that if it is a toughest question try to draw the venn diagram for all five statements within 35 seconds to 40 seconds and the remaining 20 seconds try to eliminate the options right so friends statement number 1 all parrots are owls so friends listen carefully all parrots are owls then no owl is crow so no owl is crow and also some crows are dove okay so next is some parrots are owl so some parrots or owl okay next is some owls are crow the next will be all crows are doves okay and the third statement no parrot is owl so no parrot is owl okay so all owls are crows so all owls are crows and some crows are doves and uh, statement number 4 all parrots are owls so all parrots are owls and uh, some owls are doves and also some crows are dove right some crows are dove and statement number 5 all owls are parrot so all owls are parrot and also all parrots are crows so all parrots are crows and also all crows are dove so friends this is statement number 4 and this is statement number 5 so friends i am just going to teach you a important shortcut 
so friends always remember that if it is some not right friends listen carefully many times i think uh, while posting a video two or three months back i have told you this concept if the question that is based on some not if the conclusion that is based on some not if all the words are inside a single venn diagram some not does not follows so friends remember that if all the words inside a single set some not does not follows if all the words inside a single set possibility follows friends can you able to understand this concept right if the complete venn diagram is inside a single set then some not does not follows if the complete venn diagram is inside a single set possibility follows right so friends listen here friends first conclusion is some crows are not parallel it is based on some not concept this statement number 2 is completely inside a single venn diagram so we can directly eliminate the statement number 2 look at statement number 5 say so, right owl parrot crow dove all are inside a single venn diagram so we can directly eliminate this next is statement number 4 this is also inside a single venn diagram so we can eliminate this option so finally statement number 2 statement number 4 and statement number 5 is eliminated right so friends next is i think second conclusion is so easy some crows are owl so some crows are owl this is not possible some crows are owl it is possible so definitely we can say the statement number 3 follows so friends remember that if you have a lot of practice right, you don't want to draw this diagram draw statement number 4 and statement number 5 right we can directly say that if it is some not if all the words are inside a single venn diagram then does not follows so friends easy trick so try to take a note of it, it it's apply for all the questions right so friends i think uh, let me move on to the first conclusion some crows are not parrot right some crows will be this region right crow some will be this region which is not parrot so finally the statement number 3 follows both the conclusion some crows are not parrot and some crows are oh, which is correct so finally we can say that for the first question that is uh, c that is statement number 3 follows question number 2 So the conclusion is some white or not brown and some maroon is brown. So friends listen carefully by seeing the conclusion I think just now we have solved a question similar to this pattern right so this question is based on some not concept so we can say that the conclusion is not so easy and also not so tough it's a medium level so if it is a medium level so take 30 or 35 seconds to draw the venn diagram for all five statements and uh, remaining 20 seconds try to eliminate the options so friends sum not if you find the word sum not if all the words are inside a single venn diagram then the statement is eliminated right so friends listen option number b friends that is statement number 2 some white or black all black is brown all brown is maroon so we can surely say that sum all all so the statement number 2 will be definitely inside a single venn diagram so we can eliminate option number 2 friends can you able to understand this concept right if all the words inside a single venn diagram if it is conclusion is based on some not directly eliminate the option so we can finally say that option number 2 gets eliminated right so let me move on to option number 1 that is statement number 1 all white are black so try to draw the diagram so all white are black okay so next is all black is brown so all black is brown okay so next is no brown is maroon no brown is maroon okay friends i think we have already eliminated statement number 2 so statement number 3 is some blacks are white so some black is white then no black is brown right so no black is brown okay okay so some black is white and no black is brown so next is no brown is maroon so no brown is maroon okay let me move on to the fourth statement all white is black so all white is black and uh, no black is brown right so no black is brown so this will be black and brown so next is all browns are maroon so all browns are maroon okay statement number 5 no white is black so no white is black and uh, no black is brown so no black is brown okay so next is no brown is maroon so no brown is maroon so friends after drawing the venn diagram for all the remaining four statements now by seeing the conclusion try to eliminate the option so friends conclusion let me move on to the easiest conclusion that is some maroon is brown so friends some maroon is brown right some maroon is not brown so we can eliminate statement number 1 right some maroon is brown so some maroon is brown statement number 5 is possible right some maroon is brown so we can definitely say that statement number 4 is eliminated right so next is some maroon is brown so again this is eliminated so friends finally we can say that that is statement number 1 is eliminated statement number 3 is eliminated 
and I think this will be uh, statement number 5. Statement number 5 is eliminated, only statement number 4 remains. So finally we can say that statement number 4 follows. So friends, if you have a lot of practice, you don't want to draw this diagram. By seeing it, I surely say that I won't draw the diagram for statement number 5. Why? Because here, no white is black, no black is brown, no brown is maroon. All are negative statement. If all are negative statement, then conclusion 2, that is sum, will not follow. If you have a lot of practice, you don't want to draw a diagram. But while practicing, always analyze the question properly. After getting an answer, don't directly move on to question number 3 or question number 4. Analyze it, whether there is any other tricks to solve a question faster. Right? So friends, conclusion number 2, some maroon is brown possible. Conclusion number 1, some white or not brown. Listen here friends, some white, some white will be this region. I think some white is not brown, definitely it is possible. right? Because we can't be able to merge white and brown. So some white or not brown is possible so finally we can say that statement number four follows question number three some teachers are not student some lessons are classrooms so friends listen carefully again the conclusion that is based on the concept called some not it's a medium level question so our target if it is a medium level question so we need to take 30 or 35 seconds to draw the venn diagram for all the five statements but before drawing remember one important thing if it is a some not if all the words are inside a single venn diagram then we can directly eliminate the statements right so friends statement number one as a no statement right statement number two again no statement number three no statement is there statement number four no student is a teacher right it's a negative statement is there in statement number four so friends look at statement number five statement number five is all students are classroom all classrooms are lesson and all lessons are teachers so we can definitely say that all the words will definitely inside a single venn diagram so we can directly eliminate statement number five we don't want to draw a diagram right so friends our target we need to draw a diagram for statement number one till statement number four so friends statement number four that is one some classroom is not student so no classroom will be a student right okay so next is all classrooms are teacher all classrooms are teacher then all teachers are lessons so all teachers are lesson statement number two all classrooms are teachers so all classrooms are teachers the next will be uh, some student is not classroom right so no classroom is a student the next is some teacher is a lesson so some teacher as a lesson okay statement number three all classrooms are student so all classrooms are student okay so no student is teacher so no student is a teacher and uh, no teacher or lessons right so no teacher or lessons okay so no teacher or lessons then statement number four some classroom or student so some classroom or student then no student is a teacher no student is a teacher and uh, some teachers are lessons so some teachers are lesson so friends finally we have drawn a venn diagram for remaining four statements right so friends just pick the easy conclusion easy conclusion will be some lessons are classroom some lesson that is conclusion number two is easy because conclusion number one is based on some not concept little bit tricky to find the answer right so let me move on to conclusion number two that is some lessons are classroom so friends some lessons are classroom correct in statement number one some lessons are classroom so statement number two is eliminated some lessons are classroom right some lessons are classroom statement number three is eliminated some lessons are classroom right which is lesson which is classroom sorry friends so some lessons are classroom statement number four is eliminated so finally only one statement is remaining so we can definitely say that statement number one follows and let me move on to conclusion number one that is some teachers are not student so some teacher or not student some teacher will be this region right some teacher or not student is just exactly correct so finally we can say that answer for question number three that is statement number one so friends we have solved three different questions that is based on the concept called some not so only thing you should remember is if all the words are inside a single venn diagram then some not does not follows if all the words inside a single venn diagram possibility follows question number four so some roof or curtains some bags or walls is a possibility some curtains are bags so friends listen carefully our target first of all we need to check whether conclusion is easy medium or odd according to me I think it's based on a possibility case right so conclusion one is so easy conclusion three is easy but conclusion two which is based on possibility so friends just now while solving question number one two three i've told you one important concept again and again i am saying because it's one of the important trick right if all the words are inside a single venn diagram possibility follows if all the words inside a single venn diagram some not does not follows right so friends 
here according to me this conclusion is a medium level right so my target is i'm just going to draw venn diagram faster for all the five statements right so first statement will be all bags or toys so all bags or toys and uh, no bag is curtains so no bag is a curtains okay so next is some toys are not wall okay some toys are not wall no toy is a wall right okay so next will be all walls are roof so all walls are roof so statement number two no bags or toy so no bags or toy all toys are curtains so all toys are curtains some curtains are not wall right so no curtain is a wall no curtain is a wall all walls are a roof so next will be all bags or toys so all bags or toys then all toys are curtains so all toys are curtains some curtains are not walls right so no curtain is a wall then all walls are a roof so statement number four some bags or toys right so some bags or toys so next will be all toys are curtains all toys are curtains some curtains are walls so some curtains are wall all walls will be roof so friends by seeing this statement i can surely say that this can be an answer why because all the words are inside a single venn diagram if all the words are inside a single venn diagram the possibility condition follows but we don't know whether conclusion one conclusion three follows or not but according to me while drawing a diagram itself i can confirm that this can be an answer right i can't say able to say that 100 percentage is correct it can be an answer right okay so statement number five some bags or toys some bags or toys all toys are curtains sorry all toys are curtains no curtain is a wall then no wall is a roof so friends after drawing a venn diagram for all the five statement listen carefully don't go for the toughest conclusion always go for the easy conclusion so that we can eliminate the options right the first conclusion will be some roof or curtains some roof or curtains so statement number one is eliminated some roof or contains statement number two is eliminated some roof or contains statement number three is eliminated some roof or contains it is possible right some roof or contains this is also eliminated so finally we can say that statement number four follows listen here, friends some roof or curtain some roof or curtains correct state conclusion number three some curtains are back some curtains are back it is possible i think conclusion number two is a possibility case if it is a possibility look at the diagram friends all the words are seen inside a single one diagram so we can definitely say that possible is also followed so finally for the fourth equation we got an answer that is statement number four so interesting and easy reverse syllogism when you understand the, all the concept in the syllogism properly that is important right without knowing the concept of some not possibility you can't able to touch the reverse syllogism question so don't worry about that try to watch all the videos and all the complete uh, questions on this video so that you can learn reverse syllogism easily question number five so some desk or pencil is a possibility some mountains are jungle some mountains are desk some jungles are kites so we can definitely say that conclusion one alone it's a medium level because it's based on a possibility case but conclusion two three four everything is so easy right so friends always remember that if any one conclusion is medium level try to draw the venn diagram for all the statements it's easy right if you watch all the four questions uh, previous four question you know what is the logic that we are going to apply here right so friends let me draw the venn diagram for conclusion number sorry statement number one right all pencils are kites so all pencils are kites next is no kites are disc so no kites are disc all desks are jungles so all desks are jungles all jungles are mountains so all jungles are mountains so next will be no pencils are kite so no pencil is a kite okay no kite or desk right so no kite or desk and next will be all desk are jungles so all desk are jungles all jungles are mountains okay statement number three some pencils are kite so some pencils are kite and uh, some kites are disc so some kites are disc all disc are jungles all disc are jungles all jungles are mountains all jungles are mountains so friends listen carefully by seeing this diagram i can say that this can be an answer why because all the words are inside a single venn diagram just now i am many times i am repeatedly saying if all the words are inside a single venn diagram possibility follows right so according to me 100 percentage i won't say that this will be an answer 90 percentage i can think that this can be an answer right so statement number four some pencils are kite so some pencils are kite okay so some kites are this some kites are disc no disc is a jungle okay so no jungles are mountains so no jungles are mountains 
okay so once i am not having a right space to draw a diagram okay let me move on to statement number five some pencils are kite so some pencils are kite some kites are desk some kites are desk some desk are jungle some desk are jungle some jungles are mountain some jungles are mountain friends listen carefully here all the words is also in single venn diagram so either this can be that is statement number three can be correct or otherwise statement number four can be correct right so friends now let me eliminate the options always remember that try to choose the easy conclusion easy conclusion will be some mountains are jungle second conclusion is easy right some mountains are jungle some mountains are jungle possible some mountains are jungle some mountains are jungle some mountains are jungle and some mountains are jungle is not possible so we can say that statement number four that is statement i think one two three it's a uh, statement number four right statement number four gets eliminated so next conclusion is some mountains are disc some mountains are disc possible some mountains disc possible some mountains are disc is possible but some mountains are disc is not possible so we can say that statement number five is eliminated at next is statement number that is sorry conclusion number last conclusion some jungles are kite some jungles are kite so we can say that statement number one is eliminated some jungles are kite statement number two is eliminated some jungles are kite so we can surely say that statement number three will be the answer why because we already know that if all the words are inside a single venn diagram possibility follows where the first conclusion follows right so we can surely say that for question number five that is statement number three will be the answer so friends question number six some tomatoes may be goods no egg is potato some tomatoes may be eggs some goods are potatoes so friends listen carefully according to me this question will be a little bit tricky why because only conclusion number four is easy because it's a direct conclusion some goods are potatoes it is based on, i think second conclusion is based on no concept so friends the first conclusion and the third conclusion some tomatoes may be goods the concept of maybe is a possibility listen carefully maybe is equals to possibility so the conclusion one can be taken as some tomatoes may be goods is a possibility right conclusion number three some tomatoes are eggs is a possibility right maybe that is equals to possibility so friends listen carefully so i found that this reverse syllogism question is little bit tricky so i'm just going to draw the venn diagram for all the five statements right okay so friends another important concept don't forget this concept friends while teaching i think uh, initial stage of the video itself i have told you one important concept if all the words are inside a single venn diagram possibility follows if all the words inside a single venn diagram some not does not follows if all the words inside a single venn diagram no does not follows so friends got it right all the words inside a single venn diagram possibility follows all the words inside a single venn diagram some not does not follows if all the words inside a single venn diagram no does not follows right <coughs> so let me move on to the venn diagram for all the statement friends right so statement number one no egg is tomato so try to draw the diagram faster in the exams right so no eggs are tomatoes okay so next is no tomato is a potato right no tomato is a potato then all potato are goods okay second will be some eggs are tomatoes so some eggs are tomatoes okay no tomato is potato no tomato is potato no potato is a goods okay statement number three no eggs are tomatoes no eggs are tomatoes no tomato is a potato no potato is a goods statement number four all eggs are tomatoes okay all eggs are tomatoes all tomato is a potato so all tomato is a potato then all potato are goods all potato are goods okay so next is statement number five all eggs are tomatoes so all eggs are tomatoes no tomato is potato no tomato is a potato all potato are goods okay so friends after drawing the venn diagram for all the statements listen carefully don't go for no state no conclusion because it's a difficult right no egg is a potato eliminating an option is difficult go for the easiest conclusion which is some goods <coughs> so friends the easiest conclusion is the fourth conclusion which is some goods are potatoes so some goods are potatoes okay some goods are potatoes which is statement number two is eliminated right some goods are potatoes statement number three is eliminated some goods are potatoes is a possible some goods are potatoes are possible right so we have eliminated statement number two and also statement number three listen carefully friends we already know that if all the words are inside a single venn diagram 
no conclusion does not follows here all the words are inside a single Venn diagram no conclusion does not follows because we have a second conclusion that is no no egg is potato here all the words are inside a single Venn diagram so we can definitely say that this is also eliminated so only we have two diagram that is one and uh, the last right okay so let me move on to the no conclusion friends no egg is a potato listen carefully friends no egg is a potato they have clearly told that there is no connection between t and e and t and p they are not saying that there is no connection between e and p they can be a connection between e and p so we can surely say that no egg is potato which is exactly wrong so here no egg is potato which is correct and next is some goods are potato some goods are potato conclusion number four follows conclusion number one some tomatoes may be goods it's a possible rate right so some tomatoes or goods is a possibility some tomatoes or goods is a possible we can definitely possible why because tomato and potato there is a no link between tomato and potato but they can be a link between tomato and goods so we can say the conclusion number one follows next is conclusion number three some tomatoes may be egg that is some tomatoes may be egg is possible so finally we can say that statement number five is correct for question number six so friends always remember that by seeing the conclusion don't think that the reverse logism is so tougher practice 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 right understand the concept 100 percentage then go for the practicing you can surely crack the question in the exams question number seven so some windows are rings no stone is a ring some windows are doors and some doors are rings so friends by seeing this conclusion we can surely say that this conclusion is a medium level right why because first conclusion is a direct conclusion that is some concept third conclusion is some fourth conclusion is some only the second conclusion that is based on no concept right so friends just now while solving the previous question i have told you one important concept if all the words are inside a single venn diagram no conclusion does not follows right so friends listen carefully i'm just going to eliminate the options look at the statement number one friends some stones are hammers some some hammers are ring some rings are doors all doors are windows statement number one is completely a positive statement so we can definitely say that all the words will be inside a single venn diagram if all the words inside a single venn diagram no conclusion does not follows so we can definitely say that statement number one is eliminated statement number two all stones it's a negative statement there is a negative statement right statement number three again in statement number three there is a negative statement statement number four all stones are hammers all hammer is a ring some rings are doors all doors is a window where statement number four where all the statements are a positive statement so we can definitely say that statement number four is eliminated statement number five I think there is a negative statement right so finally by seeing all the statements statement number one and statement number four is eliminated now our target to draw the diagram for statement number two three and five right okay so statement number two ones are hammers. statement number two will be all stones are hammers so next is no hammer is a ring so no hammer is a ring so no sorry some rings are doors some rings are doors all doors are windows okay next is uh, statement number three friends all stones are hammers so all stones are hammers okay no hammer is a ring so no hammer is a ring no ring is a door then no doors are windows no doors are windows and we already eliminate the statement number four statement number five will be some stones are hammers right some stones are hammers no hammer is a ring so no hammer is a ring some rings are doors all doors are windows so friends now our target choose the easy conclusion don't go, don't go for the no no conclusion right it will feels little bit tricky while eliminating so better go for the easiest conclusion first conclusion will be some windows are ring some windows are ring is possible some windows are ring is not possible statement number that is statement number three is eliminated right okay so here some windows are ring right this is possible so finally we got statement number two and also statement number uh, five right okay statement number two and statement number five is remaining next is third conclusion some windows are doors some windows are doors some windows are doors is possible fourth conclusion some doors are ring some doors are ring some doors are ring so the last will be no stone is a ring there should not be a link between stone and ring right so friends here there is no link between stone and ring so finally we can say that this statement is correct so there is there should not be link between stone and ring listen carefully friends so h and r there is no link between h and r but there can be link between r and s 
so we can definitely say that no condition does not follow in the last statement so finally we got an answer that is statement number two will be our answer so friends always remember that by seeing a no conclusion try to eliminate the statements initially because if all the words are inside a single Venn diagram we can directly eliminate the statements so according to that we have eliminated uh, statement number one and also statement number four so after that try to draw the Venn diagram for the remaining statement so that you can easily eliminate the options question number eight some gold which are white or not yellow some gold being yellow is a possibility some white or gold no silver is yellow so friends listen carefully friends by seeing this conclusion we can surely say that this reverse syllogism question looks little bit tricky why because conclusion 2 is based on possibility conclusion 4 is based on no concept and conclusion number 1 it's a different case right so only target don't try to eliminate the option directly draw the Venn diagram for all the five statement as soon as possible right so friends listen carefully first statement is no gold is silver so no gold is a silver Next is all silvers are white. Okay, so all silver is a white, no white is a yellow. Next will be some golds are silver, some gold is a silver, some silver are white. Okay, so no white is a yellow. Okay, next will be some gold are not white, so no gold is a white, right? So next is some yellow or not white, so no white is a yellow, right? Okay, next is no silver is a yellow, so no silver is a yellow, okay. Fourth statement is some gold or silver, some gold or silver, all, all silvers are white, so all silver are white and no white is a yellow. Okay. So the last fifth statement, no gold is silver. So no gold is silver, no silver is a white, no white is a yellow. So friends, finally we have drawn the Venn diagram for all the five statement. Just pick only the easy conclusion because conclusion one feels difficult, conclusion two feels difficult, con conclusion number four is a no condition. For conclusion number three, some white or gold. It's a direct statement and easy conclusion, right? Some white or gold. Some white or gold. So we can definitely say that statement number one is eliminated. Some white or gold. Statement number two is eliminated. Some white or gold. Statement number three is eliminated. Some white or gold, right? Statement number four follows. Statement number five is eliminated. Without going for any toughest conclusion, we can easily say that statement number four follows. Right. If there is none, none of these are some other options. So let me check the remaining conclusion funds. Conclusion number, last conclusion, no silver is yellow. There should not be link between silver and yellow. Yeah, there is, there is no link between silver and yellow, which is definitely correct because all silvers are white and no white is yellow. So we can definitely say that there is no link between silver and yellow. So we can say that the fourth conclusion, no silver is yellow is correct. And some white or gold, some white or gold is possible and uh, the third second conclusion is some gold being yellow is a possible some gold being yellow is a possible yeah, exactly possible why because no white is yellow right but yellow can have a link between g so we can definitely say that some gold being yellow is a possible and first conclusion some gold which are white so some gold which are white will be this region right some gold which are white some gold which are white is not yellow correct right some gold which are white is not an yellow so we can definitely say that conclusion number one follows so friends after drawing all the venn diagram so we can surely say that statement number four follows so we can directly say that answer for eighth question will be statement number four so friends always remember that if you need to eliminate an option go for the easy conclusion don't go for the toughest conclusion if you go for the toughest conclusion then you can't able to eliminate this venn diagram easily if you go for the easy conclusion eliminating all the venn diagram is so easy right so finally we got statement number four as an answer so friends finally we have solved eight different question on the topic reverse syllogism that to an important concept called some not possibility and no cases so friends don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn these concepts so friends my only advice is you are watching this video and you have subscribed my channel only because you are having an internet facility in your home so friends my advice is download this video and give to your friends those who are not having internet facility and uh, if they are preparing for a bank exam this video might be so useful for them so friends thank you so much for watching this video bye